Welcome everyone, my name is Gary Coleshill and thank you for attending this educational webinar, The Role of Annuities in Retirement, to help you understand how annuities can have a positive impact on your retirement. I'm originally from England, lived in Arizona for uh, golly, 31 years, I think, uh, and uh, I'm an Arizona-based uh, licensed insurance agent. We are very hopeful that you will benefit from our time together today. Uh, firstly, have to read a disclaimer to you. I'm going to start out with a few disclosures. I'm not affiliated with or endorsed by the IRS or any government agency. This presentation is not intended and should not be construed as tax advice. Now, I am a financial planner with a desire to help people better understand uh, taxes in retirement. The information we'll cover represents our current understanding of income taxes in general and certainly should not be considered legal or tax advice by consumers. Please consult with an enrolled agent, a CPA, or an attorney before implementing any of the strategies uh, described or discussed uh, herein. Now, today, uh, here is a preview of our main topics. We'll open up with a discussion on today's retirement landscape and see how retirement has changed from previous generations. We'll then take a look at the key risks in retirement that could threaten your financial security. And then we'll look at the types of annuities and see why annuities are gaining in popularity. Now, you may have heard of the old three-legged stool approach to retirement income. In the past, retirees could rely on social security, a company pension and personal savings to fund their retirement. But people retiring today and in the coming years have fewer sources of guaranteed income uh, as employer funded pensions have given way to 401k plans and social security uh, really by itself simply is not enough for many people. To address these concerns and meet the challenges of uh, today's retirement reality, the insurance industry offers a unique solution, which is the annuity. Forms of retirement assets may include employer plans such as 401ks and 403b accounts or may include individual retirement plans such as traditional IRAs or Roth IRAs and may even include bank accounts, investment accounts, annuities or cash value life insurance. With the increased personal responsibility and the importance of, of personal savings, many people retiring today don't have one retirement et nest egg, but have a basket with many eggs in different accounts, such as 401ks, an IRA, a Roth account, or even non-qualified accounts. The question then becomes, how do I crack my retirement nest eggs in order to fill the income gap during retirement? So what is the income gap? The income gap is represented here and is the gap between your pension or social security income and your desired retirement lifestyle income. The income needed to fill your income gap often comes from withdrawals or distributions from your personal retirement savings. Annuities can be a great solution to fill this income gap, providing retirees peace of mind with a guaranteed lifetime income. So time for a little bit of audience participation. What do you think are some ways to fill the income gap? Okay, thank you for your responses there. And yes, a lot of you are right. Here are some common ways to fill the income gap. They may include continued working, obvious enough, tapping into savings, taking required minimum distributions from your qualified accounts, and uh, you could liquidate assets 
or possessions or possessions I guess or you could purchase a commercial annuity now there are only three sources of guaranteed life long income that you cannot outlive and they are social security an employer pension and a commercial annuity now social security is the major source of income for many retirees and is often their only source of guaranteed inflation adjusted retirement income but by itself social security often doesn't provide a meaningful amount of secure income the average monthly benefit for a retired worker is $1,355 and the average monthly spousal benefit is $705. And less employees are offering pensions as a retirement benefit. Therefore, individual annuities from insurance companies are playing a more integral part in providing predictable income and a secure retirement. Purchasing a commercial annuity with a portion of your personal savings can add another layer of guaranteed lifelong income. In this example, we purchased an annuity to provide an extra $15,000 of annual income. As you can see, the income gap, of course, is much smaller. A common question among retirees is how much guaranteed income should I have? Well, a general rule of thumb is to have enough guaranteed income to cover your basic or essential household expenses, which may include food, housing, transportation, health care, clothing, personal items and taxes. This provides a solid foundation during your retirement years. The money needed to pay for those lifestyle expenses on the right hand column can be paid from personal savings. Now, we're also seeing more efforts from industry groups to get the word out there and educate consumers on the benefits of annuities in retirement. And here's a great quote from Dr. Michael Fink from the Alliance for Lifetime Income. We're facing the first generation of American workers approaching retirement with no clear idea of how much money they can count on receiving or what they can safely spend from their savings, such as IRAs and 401k accounts without running out of money. Sobering thoughts. So there are many hazards people may encounter during their retirement journey, which can threaten their financial security. And many of the financial risks people face during retirement are different than the ones they experienced during their working years. Longevity, inflation and market volatility are the three major challenges that many people will need to deal with during their retirement. However, with proper foresight and planning, these threats can be mitigated. Considering all the possibilities, it's easy to see why careful planning for retirement income needs is critically important. Now, good planning starts with having a realistic expectation of life expectancy. Longevity is the risk of living a long life. I mean, we all want to live a long life, but uh, it can cause problems. Longevity risk magnifies the impact of the other risks and can result in outliving one's money, which is a top concern, as it should be for many seniors. Life expectancy for seniors has never been longer and one's mortality is largely unknown. Now, here's a graphic that demonstrates life expectancy. It's important to note that half of pe all people live beyond life expectancy. Therefore, it may be prudent to plan for a long life, one that may well extend beyond average life expectancy, which is a reality for many retirees. Longevity is a key factor in the social security decision. Unfortunately, many people underestimate how long they may live. With advances in health and science, many people are living longer. And as a result, is there is a very good possibility that your retirement may last 20 or 30 years or even longer. Now, here's a chart that shows what a person's life expectancy will be if they're, if they're alive at age 65. A male living at 65 has a 50% chance of living to be 87, 
and a 25% chance of making it to age 93. A female living at age 65 has a 50% chance of living to 89 and a 25% chance of living to 96. And for married couples, there's a 50% chance that one spouse will live to be 93. Now, inflation is a hidden risk and a critical factor when planning for retirement. It will have a considerable impact on your budget, your lifestyle planning, uh, and your overall planning. Inflation is the general rise in the price of goods and services over time, which can be very damaging to seniors on a fixed income. Over time, the long-term impact of, of inflation could be devastating and threaten your ability to maintain your standard of living. Now, it reduces your, your pushing power as well and erodes the value of your portfolio and drives up the need for a higher retirement income. If inflation increases during retirement, retirement retirees on fixed incomes will have a hard time maintaining their standard of living. Inflation may not be noticeable in the short term, but it can have a significant impact over a lengthy retirement. Even at a modest 3% rate of inflation, the cost of goods and services can double within 25 years. Here's a chart that shows the spending power of a $500,000 portfolio with 3% inflation and no withdrawals. As you can see, the portfolio gets reduced down to $238,805 in 25 years. But even then, it is possible that over a long retirement, you may be exposed to periods of high inflation. Now, market volatility is another problem. It's the variability and uncertainty of market returns and is a significant risk for retirees who rely on their retirement savings for their income. The ups and downs of the capital markets pose a threat for those who rely on their retirement savings for income. Market downturns put additional pressure on their retirement portfolio. The time just before and after retirement are when people are the most vulnerable. If you have the misfortune of retiring to a flat or down market, the results uh, could be devastating. This is called the, the sequence of returns risk. Now, here's an example that shows the impact of the sequence of returns during the distribution phase. This chart shows the historical index returns of the S&P 500 from 1989 through, through 2008 and demonstrates the impact of the order of returns on portfolio performance, especially when losses occur early on in retirement. The starting principle is $500,000. The income is 4% of the first year principle plus inflation. The inflation rate is 3.5%. The annual returns are the actual annual returns from the S&P 500 from 1989 to 2008. Now, both portfolio A and portfolio B have the same starting value, which is $500,000. Take the same amount of inflation adjusted income and get the same average return over a two year period, which is 8.43%. The only difference is that the order of returns is reversed. In portfolio A, we see a first year return of 31.69%, while portfolio B starts off negatively with a first year return of 37%. As a result, portfolio A soars to 2.7 uh, 2 million at one point and ends up at 1.7 million, while portfolio B ends up at 363,000 $365 at the end of 20 years. So taking the exact same returns and simply changing the order results is a difference of 
over 1.3 million. Pretty staggering. Secrets of, of returns is real, and you really do need to be aware of it. So, what is an annuity? An annuity is a contract between you and an insurance company. Now, depending on the type of annuity, they can offer many valuable benefits to those in retirement. They offer lifetime income, protection of savings, a guaranteed interest rate uh, for fixed annuities, the growth potential of indexed annuities, tax deferral, access to money, nursing home benefits, and death benefits for those of you that are legacy-minded. Now, there are many different types of annuities, so it's important to choose the right annuity for your particular situation. There are income annuities, either immediate or deferred, fixed annuities, sometimes called MIGAs, fixed index, FIA, and variable annuities. For the most part, variable annuities will be out of the scope of our discussion today, but variable annuities provide a variety of sub-accounts for the annuity owner to choose based on their financial objectives and their risk tolerance. The graphic lines up the types of annuities based on uh, the, the level of risk. On the low end of the risk spectrum are income and fixed uh, annuities. These annuities offer a lot of guarantees from the insurance company. But as you move right, the level of risk increases, but so does the opportunity for higher returns. For instance, insurance companies assume the investment risk on income and fixed annuities to provide the guarantees. However, the annuity owner assumes the risk with variable annuities based on the performance of the underlying sub-accounts. Now let's take a look at income annuities. Income annuities can start immediately or at some point in the future. An immediate fixed annuity is designed to generate an income stream within 13 months after it's purchased. The income annuity is one of the original annuities in the industry. Income annuity owners receive a regular recurring paycheck from an insurance company in exchange for a lump sum of money. Now, the insurance company manages both the investment and the mortality risk, providing a stable pension-like income for life or a specified amount of time, typically to people in or nearing retirement. The premium is held in the insurance company's general account, which is comprised mostly of corporate and government bonds. Income annuities funded with a single premium are often combined with other guaranteed income sources, such as Social Security or a pension to provide an income floor to cover a retiree's basic needs. So let's take a look at income annuities. Income annuities can start immediately or at some point in the future. An immediate fixed annuity is designed to generate an income stream within 13 months after it's purchased. The income annuity is one of the original annuities in the industry. Income annuity owners receive a regular recurring paycheck from an insurance company in exchange for a lump sum of money. The insurance company manages both the investment and the mortality risk, providing stable pension-like income for life or a specified period of time, typically to people in or nearing retirement. The premium is held in the insurance company's general account, which is mostly uh, comprised mostly of corporate and government bonds. Income annuities funded with a single premium, SPEARS, are often combined with other guaranteed income sources, such as Social Security or a pension to provide an income floor to cover a retiree's basic needs. Income annuities offer guaranteed income, steady reliable income, 
the peace of mind of not outliving your money as well as customization and convenience. Let's compare the three types of deferred annuities using these three graphs. Fixed annuities, they're going to offer a guaranteed interest rate declared by the insurance company, but they have low returns. The rates of variable annuities are directly tied to market-based sub-accounts, which, which offer basically the potential for higher returns, but these returns are subject to market volatility and could lose value. You fully participate in the highs and the lows of the market. FIAs, fixed index annuities, have the potential to earn interest based on the performance of a selected market index and are between fixed and variables in risk of, of uh, in terms of risk and return. They offer greater potential growth than traditional fixed annuities with less volatility than variables. Now let's move on to fixed deferred annuities, often called MIGAs, which stands for multi-year guarantee annuity. Now, uh, fixed annuities were designed for safety. Fixed annuities are a good fit for retirees seeking tax deferral and a guaranteed rate of interest regardless of market volatility, a deferred annuity can help you to accumulate assets more tax efficiently and when the time is right, convert them into income that you can't outlive. So with fixed annuities, the insurance company declares an interest rate in advance of how much interest will be paid. Fixed annuities offer a, tip, a traditional straightforward design helping people save and grow their money on a tax deferred basis considered low risk risk uh, fixed annuities can be predictable out uh, can bring predictable outcomes by earning a stated rate of interest they can also be structured to provide guaranteed income now a multi-year guaranteed annuity is a type of fixed annuities migas guarantee a fixed interest rate for a specified time period usually one to 10 years. They're intended for longer term horizons are often subject to surrender charges. However, many carriers offer penalty free withdrawal provisions. The insurance company takes on the investment risk and the premium is held in the insurance company's general account, which is comprised mainly of corporate and government bonds. Now, annuities are tax deferred which means the taxes on the interest are postponed and not due until the money is actually withdrawn. This leaves more money in the annuity to grow and compound, which over time can be a tremendous benefit for the annuity owner. This graphic shows the triple compounding that is the result of tax deferral. Triple compounding allows annuities to accumulate in interest on your principal interest on your interest and interest on mo the money that you normally pay in taxes. So let's move on now to fixed indexed annuities, sometimes called FEARS. Now fixed index annuities are unique risk management vehicles that combine the potential of index linked interest protection from market downturns they have tax deferred growth and the guarantees of life lifetime income with a fixed index annuity the interest that is earned and credited to your annuity is based on the movement of a market index if the index goes up during the segment period a formula will be applied by the life insurance company to determine what amount of that gain will be credited. Examples of uh, fear indices include the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, uh, the Russell 2000, bonds and proprietary indexes developed by, by insurance companies. Now, even though the underlying index may increase or decrease in value, 
fears have a guaranteed floor. It's usually a, uh, a floor of 0%. Protecting the contract owner against a loss if the index decreases in value. If the index goes down, no interest is earned, but the value of that annuity contract is maintained. It doesn't go down. Typically, any interest that is earned and credited to the value of the annuity is locked and cannot be lost as a result of future corrections in the index. Now, carriers use a few common approaches to determine and calculate how much of the index-linked returns get credited to the contract as interest. Firstly, the cap, that's the maximum interest rate that can be earned during the credited period, the crediting period. If the underlying index exceeds the cap, the cap rate becomes the credited rate. There's also the spread or margin, the percentage that is deducted from the index return at the end of the crediting period. For example, if the annuity has a 4% spread and the index increased by 10% over the crediting period, the contract would receive a 6% interest rate. The par rate or the participation rate, that's the percentage of the index increase uh, used to determine the index linked interest. For example, if a contract has a 70% par rate and the index increased 10% over the crediting period, the contract would receive 7% of credited in interest. The index cap, uh, the sp spread and the par rate, the participation rate, will always be declared and guaranteed over the crediting period, but may be changed at the discretion of the insurance company at the start of the next crediting period. Once the interest is earned and credited, the value of the contract cannot decline. Even if the index returns are negative, the ending value of the index becomes the starting value of the index at the beginning of the next crediting period. Any previous gains are safe. Fear contract owners don't have to regain their losses to get positive crediting during the next measurement period. So this helps to protect the annuity value and smooth out market volatility. Now, here are some good questions to determine if annuities are right for you. Are you looking for balance during retirement? Are you looking for safe money options for your retirement savings? Are you looking for more guaranteed income beyond Social Security? Do you want growth potential without the risk of market loss? And how and when will you need the money in the annuity? In addition, features and benefits may vary by product and by state. Annuities are products of insurance companies, and they're not guaranteed by any bank or insured by the FDIC. Guarantees are based on the financial strength and the claims paying ability of the underlying insur insurance company. If you'd like, I'd welcome the opportunity to sit down with you and review your retirement income plan. So, do we have any questions? Okay, doesn't look like it. So hopefully that's because I explained everything so well. So thank you very much uh, for attending. And if you have any questions or would like to uh, make an appointment, give me a call on 888-894-2929. Again, 888-894-2929. And this is Gary Coleshill, licensed Arizona insurance agent. Thank you very much and bye for now.